at brightsidebend.com, or you can call the Brightside Bend phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, we are talking about uh, homocysteine. That's the toxic form of cysteine. Cysteine, the hardening protein. Cysteine, the detox protein. But in its homocysteine form, it's got some toxicity, especially when it comes to heart disease. Dr. Kilmer McCulley who is a Harvard researcher, he now, now at Brown University, Dr. Kilmer McCulley noticed something very interesting when he was working at Mass General back in the ni- late 1960s. He noticed that a kid, a patient of his, who was nine years old, had elevated homocysteine levels. He was dealing with a, a disease where homocysteine levels build up to ridiculously high amounts. And he noticed that th- simultaneous with her elevated homocysteine, she had the, the circulatory system of a, not, a, not a nine-year-old girl, but a, a 60-year-old woman. He noticed that she was dealing with atherosclerosis, usually a, typically a disease, of, a disease of old age, but it turns out that this little girl had the same kind of health problems, the same kind of symptoms. So he wondered if there was a connection between homocysteine and heart disease. This was the late 1960s, and it was the glory days of the lipid hypothesis, which is the idea that heart disease is caused by saturated fat, eating too much fat or uh, cholesterol, eating too much cholesterol. There are still misguided medical professionals who will tell you that eating too much cholesterol and eating saturated fat causes heart disease even today. But back in the 1960s, it was really, everybody knew. It was dogma. It was solid, hardcore, accepted, conventional wisdom that when you ate fat and you ate cholesterol and you ate saturated fat, you got heart disease. And here Dr. McCulley's coming around saying, well, wait a minute. I wonder if heart disease is really more about elevations in homocysteine, and he went and he, he told his, his uh, he went to his uh, superiors at, at Mass General. And by the way, it turns out you don't need very much to lower homocysteine. You certainly don't need drugs. I'll tell you how, what you do to lower homocysteine here in a bit. But anyway, Dr. McCauley got all excited. He goes to his superiors with his good news. Hey, I think I found the real reason why people have heart attacks. And surprise, surprise, instead of giving Dr. McCauley a raise and maybe a, a promotion, medical uh, the medical geniuses at Harvard and Mass General instead vilified him. Not only did he not get a promotion, he ended up getting fired. He ended up getting fired from Harvard. He was uh, denied a new position at, at Mass General. And he was basically demonized. He couldn't find work. So what the heck's going on? Why all the resistance to Dr. McCauley's research? Well, aside from the fact, as I said before, representatives of the status quo don't like to be questioned. They don't like to be doubted. They exist for themselves. They need their jobs. They forget that their mandate is to help the people that compose those institutions. Aside from the fact that representatives of the medical model and representatives of the establishment don't like to be questioned. Aside from that fact... All you need is a couple of cents worth of vitamins to take care of homocysteine. You don't need to have drugs. You don't need any, dr- any doctors. You don't need any insurance companies. You don't need anybody but yourselves. All you got to do is take a little bit of vitamins, a couple cents worth of certain vitamins, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. And nobody in the medical model wanted to kill the goose that laid the golden eggs. Nobody in the medical model wanted to open up the Pandora's box of, uh, of, of violating the sanctity of the so-called lipid hypothesis. Cholesterol as a cause of heart disease is the pro- was and is the prevailing belief. And Dr. McCauley comes around, makes a ruckus about homocysteine. That isn't going to be looked at with, with very much favor by the medical model. The fact is you don't need drugs to lower your homocysteine. All you need is a good diet and a few very cheapo vitamin supplements, and that basically added fuel to the fire. These days we know, of course, that Dr. McCauley was right on, spot on. When it comes to heart disease and atherosclerosis, as well as Alzheimer's disease, inflammatory diseases in general, homocysteine is a huge, huge problem. As far as cardiovascular health goes, unlike cholesterol, whose levels have really no clear link to heart disease. People with high cholesterol levels live fine, long lives, never get heart attacks. People with low cholesterol levels end up with heart disease and heart attacks all the time. There is no clear link, no clear link. Tell us to your doctor, there is no clear link between heart disease and elevated cholesterol. People with low cholesterol drop dead of heart attacks all the time. Unlike cholesterol, however, elevated homocysteine, the homocysteine connection to atherosclerosis, to heart attacks, to heart health, to the circulatory system in general, is absolutely undeniable. 
Homocysteine is basically a type of cysteine that represents sluggishness in the body. Homocysteine, when homocysteine builds up, it represents a slowness, a, a sluggishness in the chemistry, in the biochemistry of the body. The less effectively cells are processing energy, the more sluggish cells are, the more homocysteine they're going to be accumulating. In order to understand what goes wrong when it comes to homocysteine, we've got to recognize a fundamental concept about the body. We have to understand the nature of the body, or actually we have to understand the nature of cells as little, tiny, chemical manufacturing systems. The main thing, really the only thing that a cell does, the only role of a cell is to make stuff. It's to make chemicals. And when I talk about chemicals, you can think of tinker toys. And the way tinker toys have little pieces attached to them, and if you stick one piece onto a tinker toy, it creates a completely different piece than if it didn't have a different tinker toy than if it didn't have that piece. That's how chemistry occurs in the body. Cells are making these tinker toy-like shapes. And they're making these tinker toy-like shapes by sticking on little pieces, just like you did when you were a kid and you were playing with tinker toys. That's what cells do. They make tinker toy shapes, and they stick pieces on and take pieces off to create new shapes, and they do this all day, every day, every minute of every day, endlessly and cease, uh, ceaselessly. This is essentially the very definition of the life force. The life force is that mysterious something, and I say mysterious because nobody knows what it is, the God force, the divine force, if you will, it's that mysterious something that allows cells to make these kinds of tinker toys all day, every day, every minute of every single day. Every split second of every day of our lives, cells are turning tinker toy A into tinker toy B into tinker toy C, chemical A into chemical B into chemical C, and then the cells are doing it by sticking little pieces on these chemicals just like you did when you were making tinker toys, but all of that requires energy. In order for Tinker Toy A to get turned into Tinker Toy B, into Tinker Toy C, or Chemical A, or Chemical B, or Chemical C, cells need energy. And they need assisting chemicals to transfer that energy, so-called cofactors, which ultimately come from two places, nutrition and oxygen. And by nutrition, I'm also including water. Between nutrients, vitamins, <laughs> excuse me, vitamins, minerals, protein, carbs, fats, everything we get in the diet, and oxygen and water, all of that gets converted into energy so cells can make Tinker Toy A and Tinker Toy B and Tinker Toy C. But under conditions of energy shortage, under conditions of energy deficiency, an energy crisis, chemical processing does not occur as it should. Chemical A may get turned into chemical B, but it might not make it into chemical C. And this can lead, up in a, lead to a buildup or an accumulation of chemical B and a shortage of chemical C. Hang tight. I'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on Genesis Communication. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Here, Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Work, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NBSExpo.com. That's NBSExpo.com. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step -step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. 
Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GC. All right, we are back on the break side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. 855-660-4261 is our number. Our break side phone team number is 866-735-2470. Love to have you on the break side Ben team. Give the Brightside Ben phone team a call at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it for a one-time $10 fee. You can join the team and get your products at the wholesale price. Start yourself a longevity business right off your home office and your products and your mileage and maybe even make a little bit of money as well. They can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470 or you can click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com. Okay, so this whole notion of how the body breaks down really relates to what, is, what goes on in the body under normal conditions, healthy conditions. Under normal healthy conditions, cells, and you've got 100 trillion cells. Just contemplate that for a second. We've got 100 trillion cells. Do you have any idea how long it would take you to count to 100 trillion if you counted your cells one by one? How many years it would take you to count each cell one by one? Take a wild guess. No, not 100 years, not 200 years, not 1,000 years, not 10,000 years. If you counted your cells one by one, it would take you 32 million years. 
That's how big a, a number 100 trillion is, and that's how many of these little cells we have in our body that compose us. This is ridiculously amazing. And each one of these cells is one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin. And each one of these tiny little infinitesimally structures is spending every second of its life, of its life, converting chemical A into chemical B into chemical C into chemical D into chemical E and on and on and on. But all of this requires energy to do. Under conditions of energy deficiency, which follow nutritional deficiencies and follow problems with oxygen and follow uh, starvation,